Bells and It's I Am Branded. You're listening to the station that plays the best R&B soul music online worldwide. Branded, 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 branded. Tonight, this early evening, I, I, I kid you not when I say I've been looking forward to having some dialogue with this gentleman for a very, very long time. Not just because of the song that you have just heard, but also the millions of other songs that I feel have molded and shaped my entire life. And being a huge Spinners fan and, and, and being a Spinners fan before I was even born, it seemed like just, you know, thank God for my mom and thank God for my grandma for for just playing the records when I was younger so I can be able to have an opportunity to appreciate and 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 just really just not just hear the words but just also pay attention to the talent and the voice and the passion that these gentlemen have displayed throughout their career and and I'm honored I'm honored and I and I and I am and I am privileged to be able to have Mr. Henry of the legendary spinners on this edition of Branded After Dark sir good hey, early evening you, good evening how are you I'm blessed, man. I, it, I, I I am really true to form when I say, Mr. Henry, that it is an honor to have you on to my station this time around, sir. And let me say uh, at the top of the show that uh, it's an honor for me to be here, okay? Uh, you know, the spinners, we've uh, been around for quite a while. And uh, mm-hmm. we, 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 we loved our music, and we love our fans, and uh, we, we were friends before we started singing. Right. So that that made it better for us, you know, for when we got into the business, uh, we, we kind of sustained that that kept us going, you know. And and you know, a lot of artists get out there and they get that hit record and they get the big head or whatever the situation. That's that's why you hear a lot of uh, one hit wonders. Mm-hmm. But uh, we uh, we 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 uh, made a pact with each other a long long time ago that. Uh, after we left high school, you know, uh, we wasn't we wasn't going to college, okay? So right. uh, we made a pact to stick with it, up or down, win or lose. So fortunate, the Lord blessed us, you know, and uh, that, that's where we are today. And and Henry, was it that was it that friendship, that brotherhood, that cohesiveness that you guys had that? you know, resulted into uh, countless of, 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 of real timeless songs that came out of your camp during that time? Well, I think, I think the, um, the foundation, you know, you, when you build a home, you have to have a basement. And you, have to mm-hmm. you have to have a foundation. So I think the, um, uh, our, our parents, we had very strict parents, you know, back, back in the day. Mm-hmm. And they, you know, they didn't take no mess. You know, you didn't, <laughs> it was not like it is today. Okay, <laughs> we, we lived we lived in a neighborhood where everybody where everybody looked out for each other. Okay, and, and had to go uh, home that, when the lights came out. When when the lights went hello. down, you had to be at home, right? Right. Hey, look, my mom told me, look, I want you on the steps at eight o'clock. <laughs> I don't want you walking up the driveway. I want you on the steps, and that's there where you I go. was. Okay. Yeah. There you go. And that, 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 that little old lady get that little frown in, in the middle in the middle of her head. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Come on, you you can hey, Henry, you take it away grew, back because I have my hands, Henry. I have my hands, you know, uh, crossed over, just just as upset as I could be because I had to be in that certain place when that when those oh, yeah, lights went yeah. down, when the street lights mm-hmm. came on, I had to be on mm-hmm. my porch. You got mm-hmm. it. And, and the main thing about it. When you when you grow up and you get married and you have kids, all that come back to you. Mm-hmm. Everything come back to you that you have been taught, you know, and that is your foundation. Well, people, you know, a lot of a lot of kids and parents today, they they can't realize that because kids cannot raise kids. Absolutely, that's right. That's, that's the bottom line. So back to the spinners. We uh yeah, that was our foundation, man. And uh, I think uh, from that, it, it gave us a quincy to. To, to stick together and, and be be uh, business with one another and and, and stay the course regardless of what whether it's going to be up and down because we made that mm-hmm. track with each other you know right so that was that's one thing that happened you know so I'm I'm happy for that and, and we respect each other and the main thing we respected we respected the name that we, that we made in, in, into a business right was it was it so much so when you guys got together and 
you know, you, you had your work through Motown Atlantic. I mean, you, the, these labels that really paid attention, especially then. I, you know, and, and, and knowing the music, and, and it's just like I said, thank God for my, my mom and my grandma and my family for, you know, basically just, just introducing me to you guys. Was it was it that sound that you guys had that that just really made you say, hey, you know what, we really have something special as a as a group? Okay, let me let me tell you about the sound. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, back uh, when we were in high, when we were in school together, uh, we started singing. And to make a long story short, we started singing, and we 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 mimic the groups that were out then. You know, like the Clovers, the Drifters, the Moonglow. Right. You know. And mm -hmm. uh, we listened to the records, and we tried to sing like them, you know. And uh, make a long story short, we met our manager, Harvey Fuqua, which was the leader of the Moongos at the time. Right. And he became our manager. And w by him be becoming our manager, he taught us how to correctly form our harmony. So what you hear from the spinners today is the work of Harvey Fuqua. And uh, he put that together for us, man, and we, we haven't looked back because we love that sound, you know. Mm -hmm. And I I didn't realize it until Tom Bell brought it out because, you know, Tom Bell was a, was, a, was a keyboard man for the uh, house band at the Uptown Theater in, in Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And so in 1961, when That's What Girls of Mayfair came out, which Harvey and Gwen wrote and, and uh, produced on their uh, label, which was tri Fire Records at the time, it came to be a uh, top 40 across the country, so we, you know, it, it was a good hit, a big hit for us right away. So we went mm. through uh, Philadelphia, and Tom Bell said he remembered us because of our harmony. He said, there's one note that you guys sang that no other group was singing. And, I, I, you know, we didn't know because we just sang what Harvey taught us, you know. And right. uh, he said that on 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 the unsung uh, uh, show that uh, they did did on us, you know. And that's the mm -hmm. first time I ever heard him say that, you know. He said, but he said I, I I wanted to produce them when I when I signed with Atlanta Record because of the way of the sound they had, and so that's how that sound got there, man. Wow, wow. And I and I always feel like when when it comes to your your group, it it, it was a group in, in my opinion, and, and and you know, like you said, you you. You know, named uh, as many groups as you, you know, the Temptations, uh, the Four mm -hmm. Tops, and, 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 and then some. It's like, you know, the, the, the best thing for me as a fan was listening to different groups and, and, and getting a different vibe each time. Like, right. um, mm -hmm. you guys didn't sound like the Temptations, or you didn't sound like the Four Tops, right. or, or whatnot. You were the spinners, you owned that sound and that flavor, mm -hmm. and, and, um, it, it, to me, it always makes me feel like. To me, do you, as a as as a member of this group and a founding member at that, do you feel like the 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 spinners and everything that you've done from the music to how it is today, do you feel like you know what? I I, I think I could look back and say I did everything I possibly could the right way, vocally and all that good stuff. I look back. I look back. You know. And, you know. All my guys are gone but me, mm -hmm. and I look back on. on the way we was uh, taught our our our, our uh, music, and right. I look back at uh, all the the thing, places that we played. I look back uh, at all the uh, dives that we played. Then uh, come on up to after after the hit records came through Atlantic Records, and we got our star on Hollywood Walk of Fame. Mm -hmm. And things started happening for us that was great, to, you know, that was great, you know. Um, I look back at it, and I just thank the Lord, man, you know. I thank the Lord the, the way that you, you, you like, like, and today is a special day to thank him, you know. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I look back, and, I, and I, thank, I thank him because what happened to the spinners is like a storybook, really. Because uh, when we when we were winning, winning different contests back in the, in, in the 50s, we didn't have no idea that our uh, career was going to end up like it did, you know. Mm -hmm. But we was we was we was like praying, hoping and praying, you know. And all of the things that we went through when we got, uh, tri fi Records, uh, I went in the Army and came out. Right. Went to Motown. 
We stayed there for almost 10 years. Mm-hmm. And uh, happened with, 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 with Stephen Wonder being a very good friend of ours. He produced a song on us in 19, uh, 1959. 1960, 1960, 68, 69, yeah. That's a, uh, uh, it's a shame. Mm-hmm. He wrote it, he, he wrote it, he produced it, and he played on it. And uh, wow. he, if you if you listen to it, you hear Stevie on the drums because you, you know he's a, he got a very u- unique sound when he, when he plays. Absolutely. Drums. And uh, you can hear him on the drums, and you might hear him on some more um, instrument because he played two or three different instruments, you know. Mm-hmm. So he produced that on us and with G.C. at Cameron at the time singing lead. And um, it just, things happened to us like it was like a, like a, like a, uh, a fairy tale. Because it was mm-hmm. like at the end of what, end of a uh, little era there, things, things were waiting for us to, to take the other step. Right. And when we left Motown, our contract was up when that record was released. Okay? Now, when mm-hmm. It's a Shame was released, our contract ran out. And that was a big hit for the spinners. Mm-hmm. And to leave on a hit going to another company, you can't ask for nothing better. <laughs> that is true. That you is true. Peak saying? at the right time, right? Like, Peaked you know, you were right able time. to renegotiate. Right. Yeah. Peaked at the right time, and Motown tried to sound us back. But, you know, we had went through a lot of stuff in Motown. And we loved Motown uh, because they did teach us a lot because they had an artist development that Harvey Fuqua was ahead of, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, we learned a lot there. We, and um, most time it was like a college to us, you know. Right. And we, and we, and we got our degree. <laughs> <laughs> we got our degree. <laughs> so when we left there, uh, we was on tour with Aretha Franklin. And uh, she's a good friend of ours. And she know that we had just, just, you know, just left Motown. She said, listen, I am with Atlantic Records. She said, I think you guys should, should talk to them. She said, because they have been very good to me. Mm. And, hey, that's a stamp there. Mm. That's a stamp wow. there. So we, we, we contacted Atlantic, and, and as they say, the rest is history. <laughs> and good history is at, at that. Good Mr. Henry history, of the Legendary man. Spinners is our guest on Branded After Dark. When you went, it, you know, to me, I've always been one of those people who was, you know, I, I, I'd love to hear the excitement and the passion of certain mm-hmm. songs and, 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 and taking your group for, for an example. there. I mean, there's so many songs that, you know, I may not have been born when that song was birthed or I may have been a, a, a little child, but as I grew up mm-hmm. to appreciate it, I've, right. I've, I've come to appreciate so much when it comes for the music art form. And the song that we mm-hmm. just played, I, you know, it, it still gives me goosebumps, man, to this day. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and my question to you is, when you, when you hear, when you go back, not just listening to yourself but others, and then you kind of mm-hmm. compare it to just how things are and the evolution of music now, how, mm-hmm. how, do, you, how do you feel that transition has? Is it, do we still need a long, is it a long way to go for the current generation as opposed to how it was back then? Well, there's, there's two two ways that I'm looking at this, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, I rap, I, I don't like, okay? I <laughs> okay. don't like rap. <laughs> but there is some, but there's some hip hop out there that that have have, uh, have nice lyrics, you know. And there's mm-hmm. some out there I wouldn't let my daughter or my, or my mom or anybody else listen to, you know. Right. And because it's degrading to women and and just but for you being a person, really. And there's music that, like I said, you don't want to hear. And there's music mm-hmm. that's out there that's really, really, really good, man. And right. um, music, music is a is a, is a universal uh, uh, art and mm-hmm. lingo. Okay. Now, music goes in a circle. It's just like the just like the world spinning on an axle. And after a while, just like Tom Bell told me about six months ago, he said, man. He said, "Y'all sound is coming back." He said, be, right. "He said, be ready for it because it's coming around again." He said, "It's not going to be like it was, but you got to you got to be ready for it." And I said, "Okay, you know." He said, "He said the music goes in a circle." And I said, "Music goes in a circle, and just like you got to rap now, now mm-hmm. you, can, you can see it moving out from the original rap that it was like like you hear it now. 
Right. Because you hear uh, other artists out there, and they, they, they're, you know, like, you, you got a lot of your rap and a lot of your uh, hip hop that they sing, and they don't, you, you can't get a story out of what they're singing. <laughs> Amen to that. You can't understand it, okay, because they jumble up or whatever they, however they was when they read, wrote it, you know. But mm -hmm. you take the songs from the 60s and the 70s, you can listen to those songs, and you all you hear is love and happiness. Right. Peace. Love. Mix, mixed in with some mi mixed in with some pain of a breakup or something like that too, but the well, story was told. Uh, it was the, yeah, all in life, you know. They, uh, mm -hmm. Love song in the blues, you know. Blues. Some blues are sad. Some blues are happy. But most blues make you think. Yep. Just like uh, yep. that one song they got. I forget who who who's singing it. Say, so, how come my dog don't bark when you come around? <laughs> <You know? laughs> that's right that's right <laughs> oh you know so you know, <laughs> you know so you got music out there and it goes in a circle and and, and you go if you just sit back and listen to it mm -hmm. and just keep buying it or buying what you like and, and wait till something hits you and it'll be there it'll be there because it's i remember when um they switched from from uh, uh, the, 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 the long records to the 45. Oh, absolutely. I said, I, man, I would never put by that stuff. Next time we're buying the heck out of it, you know. But <laughs> exactly. they switched from that to, to the 8-track, you know. Mm -hmm. The 8-track, because oh, when I bought my first car, I had a big old 8-track in there. <laughs> 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 With a big old record, <laughs> like an 8-track in there. <laughs> Wasn't it something that you look back and you see how all that stuff just kind of transitioned and the A tracks? Yeah, oh my yeah, goodness! And the music is the and, same way, man. Yeah, the music is yeah. the same way. It's compact and it come better. You know, like 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 uh, uh, um, he said that uh, it's gonna come around, but it's, but it's, it's just like clothes. Mm -hmm. They're gonna redo the same clothes, but you cannot go get your old clothes and wear them because they're gonna change oh, no. it a little bit. Absolutely, so you can't they're gonna do it, change. Right? They're going to change the texture. They're going to change just right. the, the overall because fit of the, it all. The skinny pants and skinny clothes they're wearing and the skinny suits. That when We were the first group to put that on in 1961. Is that right? No cuffs. No cuffs. Oh, no. okay. I got you. I got you. No okay. cuffs. Skinny okay. pants and, skinny, and the skinny jackets. Small lapels. Mm -hmm. We the first one started that. And they looked at us and said, oh, boy, y'all shout. <laughs> but, you know, they're doing it back now, but you, you can't go back and get your old stuff and put it on. Because Not at all. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Henry of the Spinners is our guest on Branded After Dark. And it, to me, Henry, I always, I always felt like it was, well, you know, again, I'm kind of at this point where I feel like, you know, it was cool to be part of a group. You know, yeah. it was. It seemed like it was a nice look to be a part of the Spinners or the mm -hmm. OJs or the Temptations or yeah. the Jacksons or, you know, things mm -hmm. like that. And it just seems like, you know, well, there, there's really not too many groups like it used to be. The vibe of it isn't like it used to be. Right. What, what happened, in your, in your opinion, what happened to just the excitement that a group would give you? Like, why, why don't we see many new groups forming and staying and lasting like it used to be? Because when uh, when when the, uh, the rap, the hip hop, um, but the other when it came aboard, mm -hmm. it left groups behind because you had in you had artists that was one or two, right? Okay, and then one or two people on the stage, but then they came with the one or two people with a production behind them. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got you got five or six people back there dancing and going on. You got eight or nine band members dancing and going on, okay? Now, you don't have, a, like when we go on stage, we, we still go on stage like we did in 1961. Five spinners and five musicians. And that's it, you know. Right. But the average artist now, even from 1980 on, man, you know, they, they, they came with a production. Mm -hmm. Rather than rather than the artists getting up there with the band and singing, they come with a production, and just like uh, Vegas, they stop booking artists like they used to and stop bringing in productions. Right. And that's the same with record companies, you know. Like we used to go to record companies, and if we got a new record, we just take it to the radio station and ask the disc jockey to play it. You can't do that anymore. Mm, absolutely, that's <laughs> true. 
Can you do that? Is it is it from a from a guy's point, Henry? When you when you look at the just, just the guys, I mean, back you know back in the day, it was as far as guy groups. It just seemed like guys don't seem to think it's cool anymore to be a group. Like you know, it kind of it kind of comes few and far between. Like we mm-hmm. we don't see we don't see guys. Or is it is it really that mentality now, or is it just like you said? It's just kind of you know, it, it's it's just you know, music has changed so. You know, it's just too much going on in the background now, and, and people really mm-hmm. don't pay attention to groups like they used to. That's right. People don't pay attention to groups like they used to, and groups is not prevalent like they was in the, in, in the, in the past. You don't have mm-hmm. groups that, you, like, we used to stand on the street corner and sing, you know, and we were right. in an area where you stand on the street corner here, you can go around the corner, you may find another group out there, you know, and... Um, Groups were what, what was happening then. Just like hip hop and and, and uh, uh, the stuff that's happening now, it's the mm-hmm. same with the groups back then. Everybody wanted to be a group. Right. I mean, you had your. I mean, I, when we first started out, started out, our name was Do, the Domingos. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. we had the Dominoes. You had the Drifters. You had the Flamingos. You had the Crest. You had. Uh, everybody else. Then when we when I uh, came on up, you got the spinners, you got the Temptation, Four Top, OJ. Right. You know. Then after that, it fell, kind of fell off because that's when the other music. That's when the music changed, mm-hmm. and it made a it made a drastic change. And everybody was saying that, uh, oh, I know this. Uh, this this is not gonna last, but it's still here. It's still here, it's, and, 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 and it and, seems to not want to go anywhere. It's never gonna go. Um, and, and also, can I add that to me, when it, when it comes to that, yeah, you're absolutely right. Nowadays, everybody wants to be a rapper. Everybody wants to, mm-hmm. everybody wants to sing, but, mm-hmm. and, and you know this too, Henry, everybody can't. No, <laughs> it was just keep no, it real. No. Everybody cannot. The thing cannot. about it, if, if you listen at a lot of the rappers, now, just listen and go back and ask yourself what, are they doing what they are doing they are going back getting all the songs that were produced back in the 60s and the 70s mm-hmm. nothing out of their own head but they're just picking up stuff that already been produced and rearranging it to fit them right okay no creativity there's no right there's imagination there there's no imagina- nope. imagination because we have I mean, it's a shame. Uh, I'll be around. Have been have been uh, covered by four or five different artists. You know. Right. Right. You know, but uh, there's no imagination. I mean, there's nothing new. All they do no is create. go back and find a find a song they like. Got got a nice beat to it, and put another beat to it. Use the same words <laughs> and put another hop on it. Okay. And keep on going, nope. and they spend more records than we did. <laughs> <laughs> but it, and, and it's and it just seems so. It is just it's something about that just seems so off to me, Henry, because it's no creativity whatsoever. Everything that you said just screams like no no creativity. They didn't think thoroughly. I mean, they kind of thought about it, but then it was really like an afterthought. And that's really not how music is supposed to be, right? Yeah, it's not. But look at look at the way where it was back in, in back in the early fifty when they call it call it uh race music and all that stuff you know right you had your black artists uh, uh um you know black artists out there produce their mm-hmm. own song and put it out white artists get it do it just the same way put it on the white station million seller <laughs> okay <laughs> Chuck Berry. yep now listen how many how many how many hit songs have pat boone had that he written <laughs> that like by himself, right? <laughs> yeah, there's always somebody that he covered. There's always That's somebody true. he covered, man. You know, it's a good point. It's a good point. Yep. Do you, I mean, you, you you talked about it coming back full circle as far as music and 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 just pretty much certain certain parts of it. I mean, it'll never be like it used to be. I think we can no, all no. kind of understand that. But will we no. ever have like you know a select few that will make music that will last? 20, 30, 40, 50 years? Um, I think so. I think it'll come back because, like uh, uh, Tom Bell said, the music is going to come in a circle, and uh, you're going to get somebody out there that's going to... All they need is one one record with that sound and, the, and that production, 
It's a small production to sneak through. And if, mm -hmm. if it sneaks through like that, it's going to bust it wide open. Then everybody's going to be scrambling to do it. It's true. And it's Anything true. Anything that you make big, uh, everybody's going to jump on it. Other people are going to jump on it, you know. So I, I think so. I think so. I think so. I really do. And it has to and it has to be a point too, Henry, where it comes to the fact that let's hope that it's not oversaturated. Like you do have the one great artist, but then mm -hmm. you have everybody that want to collaborate with them. Like to me, and and, and I'm right. going back to and, and you see, you know what you know what time it is. I, I think it's you know the, the the spinners now. Now the spinners had some nice collaborations back in the day mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. But you didn't go you didn't go to every place to collaborate with every artist. I mean, you no, kind of no. still kept it in house, and you you pretty much was selective, right, with who you collaborated with. Yes, we we uh, we kept our sound. We didn't we didn't we didn't we didn't uh, uh, divert from that at all. And mm -hmm. like today, like uh, like I said earlier, my, you know, I'm the last one member of the uh, Spinners that is still alive. All the rest of my guys are gone, you know. But I right. had a chance to um, put together uh, interview the guys you know, as, as, as they came along, and I have with me now um, four four fantastic guys, man. And uh, in, in, in the knock on wood, because I kind of, kind of, kind of demanded uh, when I did my interviews, because you know I had when I put the, put the word out that we they just been looking for a tenor singer, been looking for a bass singer, you know, you get bombarded, right. you know, and you have to weed them out because I don't I don't want no dope heads, I don't want no winos, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. So you have to weed them out. So I got I, I, I was fortunate enough to get four. Fantastic guys, man. Jesse Peck at the bass singer that took Purvis' place. Marvin Taylor uh, is a, a tenor that took Bobby's place. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlton Washington, he's the lead singer. He, he, he did a lot of the stuff that Felipe did, you know, and myself, right. you know. So uh, it, the spinners, are, we back back full strength right now. That's what's up. That's that's definitely good to hear. And speaking yeah. of that, a couple of quick questions with Mr. Henry of the legendary spinners on Branded After Dark. And um, any, anything I can look forward to as far as in the near future from oh, from yeah. you and, and from the legacy that you've created? Because I want to see some performances and some music and stuff like that for oh, yeah. 2014 and beyond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just left left Atlantic City, you know. And uh, the guys, I got two guys in in the group that is writing right now, Charleston and Jesse. They're they're, they're writers, and uh, we we're going we we taking our time, and we're gonna, we're gonna get a CD out there pretty soon. So that's, you, that's you, what you I hear like. from us pretty soon, and and, and, and uh, it's needed. And, and Henry, yeah. let me tell you, let me tell yeah. you that it is needed. Like yeah. yesterday, and you know, no, no pressure though. <laughs> no, no, no pressure though, Henry. No pressure, but you, you got and, and <laughs> no pressure. <hold> up. <laughs> no, but, yeah, exactly, exactly. And 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 I'm saying this as a fan because I I, I just really think that it, it's it's important for us to be able to have that kind of vibe that music is supposed to give us. It's a God given talent, right. and when it's when it's together in a in in, in a group setting. I mean, it mm -hmm. really enhances what music is all about, the harmonizing, right. the, you know, the, the one-two steps, too, and just being able to put out uh, a song and a record that matters, like the songs mm -hmm. that matter. The song still matters when you go back and listen to, to the songs. I mean, how can I let you get away? Yeah. It's, I, I get chills every time I listen to it, and, and, that, yeah. and that's because yeah. of what I felt when I hear it. It's, mm -hmm. it's a big deal. It's a really big yeah, deal. It's a, yeah, it's a beautiful song, man. And I, I feel the same way about Sadie and Mighty Love. Mm -hmm. Those two songs I really like, you know. And uh, the, for me, just the, the things that they, I think they're writing. You know, I heard I heard some of the stuff they write it, and I told them, you know, like we, we make sure you stick to the script, you know. And if right. you want to if you want to jam it up a little bit, go ahead and jam it up, but don't 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 stray too far, you know. Make sure the sound is still there. And that's the main hey, thing. Cause we, we hey, man, that's what I like. Sound. That's what I like to hear. So I, I so I take it you're not gonna um, you're, you're not gonna reach out to uh, certain hip hop celebrities like Lil Wayne or Drake to come in and <laughs> and collaborate on on Spinner's music, right? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> Not, you know, they're, they're great people, you know, but uh, no we're probably going to stick with, <laughs> with our format that we have in, in, in right now. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? That, hey, that's, hey, look, that, hey, if, if the that, egg is there, don't crack it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wrapping it up with my man, Mr. Henry, of the Legendary Spinners on Branded After Dark, brought to you by NextLegacy.com. How are, how, are you, uh, how are you dealing and doing with all the social media act, act, action that's going on, I guess I should say. I mean, because you guys got a, a, a ton of people worldwide that loves you guys. I mean, everybody's hashtagging the spinners now, checking you guys, mm -hmm. uh, checking you out, notably, and just, you know, reminiscing off of a lot of good stuff and YouTube. Right. People can go back and check out all the stuff that you guys have done throughout your career with all the good, warm, uh, good vibes. So, I mean, how, how are you mm -hmm. feeling in general with, with social yep. media? Oh yeah, the social media right now is 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 is, is, is ramping up, man. Because they're like uh, my manager is calling me every day about about people want want to want to do interviews, you know, and mm -hmm. I mean all over the world, you know, because right. I've been doing interviews now for the last week, you know, like when we go we go on the road, I just came in from uh, from uh, from Atlantic City and everything. And before I can get home, good, I got, got uh, interviews lined up, you know. <laughs> and sometimes I, I, if I don't write it down, I forget about it. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's, it's great, man, because I, I got people from 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 all over the all over the world, you know, calling me, you know, which is great. And that's a, that's that is a blessing right there, you know. And I and I just really feel like it's especially in music and, and online radio and even mainstream media circuits everywhere um, mm -hmm. should should embrace uh, you know history a legacy yeah. leaving something like I mean you you wouldn't have to Henry in a true true to form when I tell you this you you don't have to do nothing musically anymore and your legacy is still great so for you to even yeah. you know still say that hey you know what be on the lookout for something new from the spinners. It's, mm -hmm. it's it's incredible to hear because you you can drop the mic down and call it a day and your your music career is a legacy. Yeah, well, thank you so much, and I, I, I agree with you. But uh, you can't if if you sit still, you you know you 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 you, you, you <laughs> rough out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you it's know, in you. You can't you can't you, you can't call, call it a day. You, you can you can't call it a day, right? <laughs> Right. If you got a car and don't drive, it mess up. You know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, you know what? I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to you know something new. But thank you for giving me everything else in between. You helped me grow up. Um, you helped me. You know, literally, you didn't know me until you know j just recently. But I mm -hmm. mean, just being motivated by what was accomplished by the spinners it has been great in my career and I and I can't thank you enough. So the best thing I could do when I got into media is to make that attempt to reach out and just let the listeners know and also to just let you know that um your your music and your contributions to it um is is forever appreciated. Long mm -hmm. live the spinners. Well, I just want Yeah, I just want to thank you man for uh for your kind words and and thank you for keeping us alive, okay? And uh God bless you and thank you so much. Thank you, and I'll be in touch because uh, I, I still want to go see you perform live. So wherever you go, I uh, I'll be around. No pun okay. intended, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Well, thank you so have, much, man. Have a good one, <laughs> Mr. Okay, Henry of the Legendary yeah. Spinners, right here on Branded After Dark. Branded After Dark. All right. Next legacy.